in this lesson, we are going to discuss the trigonometric function values of three special angles. We will be doing the following exercises. Let us start with our first special angle, 45 degrees or pi over 4. I have here a right triangle with one angle equal to 45. Take note that this second angle here is also equal to 45 degrees because the two acute angles in a right triangle are complementary. They must add up to 90 degrees. Since these two angles over here are congruent, then that means that the side opposite this two angles must also be congruent. So I will just write here B must be the same as A. That is, we have an isosceles right triangle. But recall that in an isosceles right triangle, if one of the sides is A, then the hypotenuse is just equal to the side times square root of 2. If this is the case, now we can compute for sine of 45 degrees. Opposite over hypotenuse. So that's A over A square root of 2. So this is 1 over square root of 2. Similarly, cosine of 45 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's also equal to A over A square root of 2, so that is 1 over square root of 2. I will just use 1 over square root of 2. I will no longer rationalize it. And what is our tangent? Tangent of 45 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Since these two sides are the same, tangent 45 is equal to A over A, so that's equal to 1. Or if you want, Recall the tangent 45 is sine of 45 over cosine of 45 degrees. Since the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees are just equal, therefore their tangent must be equal to 1. Now that we have these three basic trigonometric function values, the rest will just be the reciprocal. The reciprocal of sine 45 is cosecant of 45 degrees. So that is square root of 2. The reciprocal of cosine 45 is secant of 45 degrees. That's also equal to square root of 2. And cotangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1 as well. But take note that all you have to remember are this two the sine and the cosine because once you know what the sine and cosine are, it will be easy to get the tangent and the rest of the trigonometric function values. For example, let us now evaluate the following expression. Sine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2. Tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1. So therefore, this expression is equal to 1 over square root of 2. Next, Secant of pi over 4. What is secant of pi over 4? That is just the reciprocal of cosine. Correct? But cosine of pi over 4, pi over 4 is 45 degrees. This is 1 over 1 over square root of 2. That's square root of 2. Times cotangent of pi over 4, we know that it's equal to 1. So therefore, this is equal to square root of 2. Let us now consider our next special angle, 30 degrees. So here is my 30, 60, 90. But first, let us recall that if we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, if you know the length of the side opposite your 30 degree angle, what would be the length of the side opposite your 60 degree angle. The longer leg is equal to square root of 3 times the shorter leg. And what would be the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is equal to 
twice the length of this side. So this is 2a. And therefore, you can now get cosine of 30 degrees. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's a square root of 3 over 2a. And that's square root of 3 over 2. What about sine of 30 degrees? Sine is opposite over adjacent, so that's a over 2a, so that is 1 half. And therefore, tangent of 30 degrees. I will just make use of the sine and cosine. So that's 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. This gets cancelled out, so that's 1 over square root of 3. If you look at your right triangle, opposite is A over adjacent, A over square root of 3. So you also get 1 over square root of 3. And the rest are just the reciprocals. Reciprocal of cosine is secant, so this is 2 over square root of 3. Reciprocal of sine is cosecant of 30 degrees so this is 2 and lastly cotangent of 30 degrees is equal to 1 over square root of 3 for our last special angle 60 degrees or pi over 3 cosine of 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse so that's a over 2a that's 1 half Sine of 60 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. That is square root of 3 over 2. And lastly, tangent of 60 is opposite over adjacent. So that's square root of 3. And the rest are just the reciprocals. To memorize the values of cosine and sine of 30 and 60 degrees, it's very helpful to always have this triangle. So remember that the side opposite 30 degrees is the shorter leg. Take this to be 1 half. And the leg opposite your 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Take note that I took the shorter leg to be equal to 1 half so that the hypotenuse is 2 times 1 half or 1. And therefore, the leg opposite 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Remember also that square root of 3 over 2 is the longer leg because square root of 3 over 2 is greater than 1 half. So therefore, just by looking at this triangle here, you now have that cosine of 30 that's adjacent. You no longer have to consider the hypotenuse because this is equal to 1. Cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2 and sine of 30 is 1 half. And also you can use the complementary angle theorem. Cosine of 30 is the same as sine of its complement sine 60 and this is cosine of 60 always remember this let us evaluate the following expression sine of 45 degrees is 1 over square root of 2 what is cosine of 30 this is square root of 3 over 2 so therefore this is square root of 3 over 2 square root of 2. Next, tangent of pi over 4 is 1. Pi over 4 is 45 degrees. Minus sine of pi over 3. Pi over 3 is 60 degrees. Sine of pi over 3 is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So that's 2 minus square root of 3 all over 2. Next, tangent of pi over 6. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees. Opposite over adjacent, so that's 1 over square root of 3 plus sine squared of pi over 4. 
But sine of pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2 and then you square it. So that's 1 over square root of 3 plus 1 half. I will rationalize 1 over square root of 3. So that we have this is 6, 2 square root of 3 plus 3. Let us have some word problems involving these special angles. First, let us define the angle of elevation. If a person is looking up at an object, acute angle measured from the horizontal, so remember this, from the person, you always draw a horizontal line and you draw the line of sight. So the line of sight is the line connecting the person and the object that he is looking at. The angle that is made by the horizontal line and the line of sight is called your angle of elevation. If the person is looking down at an object, just like what we have over here, the acute angle made by the line of sight and the horizontal line. Remember that you always draw a horizontal line. You should never draw a vertical line. The common mistake is to draw the line of sight. Let's say this is the person and then this is the object is to draw this one vertical line this is not the angle of depression because you should always draw a horizontal line so for instance a person in a small boat offshore from a vertical cliff known to be 100 feet in height takes a sighting off the top of the cliff if the angle of elevation is found to be 30 degrees how far offshore is the boat the first step that you have to do to answer problems like this is to draw a diagram but in drawing diagrams, you can just take the person to be just a point. Why is that? Because the height of the person is very, very small as compared to the height of the cliff, correct? 100 feet. So suppose that the cliff is this one. We're just looking at the height, all right? This is 100 feet. How do we draw the angle of elevation? Draw a horizontal line from the person and then the line of sight. This is now your angle of elevation, which is 30 degrees. We want to find how far offshore is the boat, but the person is here. So we are looking for this one. Let's call this X. Now, since this is a right triangle with an angle of 30 degrees, look at the relationship between your given and your unknown. 100 is the opposite of 30 and X is the adjacent side of 30 degrees. So therefore, what trigonometric function are we going to use? We're going to use tangent. Tangent of 30 is opposite over adjacent. What is tangent of 30 again? Tangent of 30 is 1 over square root of 3. When we cross multiply, we get x equals... 100 times square root of 3. Next, suppose that you are headed toward a plateau 50 meters high. If the angle of elevation to the top of the plateau is 60 degrees, how far are you from the base of the plateau? This is similar to your cliff problem. Let's say this is you. This is the height of the plateau and this is the top horizontal line and line of sight. This is 60 degrees. This is 50 meters. And again, you are looking for your x. So just like what we did earlier, what is the relationship between 50 and x? Opposite and adjacent. So we have tangent 60 is equal to 50 over x. What is tangent of 60? Tangent of 60 is square root of 3. When we cross multiply, x times square root of 3 is equal to 50. And therefore, x is 50 over square root of 3. Or if you want to rationalize, that's 50 square root of 3 over 3. Let us consider two problems involving angle of depression. Suppose that the angle of depression of a stone from the top of a tower on the ground is 45 degrees. 
First, I will draw the tower. Let us suppose that this is the stone. And you now want to get the angle of depression. How do you draw the angle of depression from the top? You draw a horizontal line and then you draw the line of sight. So the angle of depression is this one, 45 degrees. However, for us to have a right triangle, let us form this line here, this horizontal line. Notice that these two lines here are parallel and this would be the same as this because they are alternating interior angles. So this one is also equal to 45 degrees. If the stone is away from the building at a distance of 120 meters, so this is 120 meters, let us find the height of the tower. Let us call it H. This is an isosceles right triangle. So if this is 120 meters, H is also equal to 120 meters. However, I will solve it using trigonometric functions. Let us consider the relationship between the angle, the unknown, and your given. H is opposite of 45 degrees and 120 meters is the adjacent. So therefore, tangent 45 is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 120 meters. But tangent of 45 is 1. So we really get that h is equal to 120 meters next the angle of depression of a vehicle from the top of a tower on the ground is 60 degrees suppose that this is your tower and the vehicle is here let us draw the angle of depression from the top you draw a horizontal line and then draw the line of sight this is your angle of depression, 60 degrees. We want to consider this triangle. Using the properties of parallel lines, this is again 60 degrees because this and this are alternating interior angles. The vehicle is away from the building at a distance of 100 meters. Find the height of the tower. What is the relationship between the angle, the unknown, and your Given, this is opposite and adjacent again. So, we will be using tangent again. Tangent of 60 is equal to h over 100. What is tangent of 60? Tangent of 60 is equal to square root of 3. So, therefore, h is equal to 100 times square root of 3. What we just considered so far are trigonometric function values of acute angles. In our next video lesson, we will discuss the trigonometric function values of any angle.